Today we're going to talk about the 1004 D3 coupler from OPW Engineered Systems. And what we want to do is kind of walk you through how to maintain and rebuild this coupler. The only parts you need are an inch and a quarter socket, a 5 8 socket, and a seal pick. That's it. No threads, no pens. The first thing you want to do is defeat the two interlocks. One in the top, one in the bottom. Depress the interlocks, which will allow you to slide the sleeve forward. Top interlock, bottom interlock, depress. Now you can open the handle. With the coupler in the open position, we can now remove the handle. To do that, we just take your socket, remove the nut, and that will allow you to remove the handle like so. Okay, with the handle removed, the next step is to remove the stuffing box, which is done with an inch and a quarter socket. Loosen the stuffing box, and this will give you access to your shaft seals. And you can remove your shaft, and with the shaft out, you can remove the poppet. With the poppet out, you're able to remove your cylinder, which gives you access to your cylinder seal and no seal. It's that simple. An important note here is to see how we've eliminated the thread on the drive link. With the D2 design, we had a small screw that held the drive link in place. With the D3, we've eliminated the thread and the drive link is held in place by a spacer. So now to rebuild the coupler, you want to replace your nose seal, your cylinder seal, your shaft seals. Again, three seals within the stuffing box. There's double seals on the shaft. You have one seal to protect the threads. The seal in the top of the stuff box could be removed with a pick and is pressed back into place. So to get everything back together, just go in reverse order. Insert your wave spring and cylinder. The poppet goes back through the body. There's one trick here you want to keep in mind. When, when you're rebuilding the unit, make sure the, the links are facing down with the hole in the body on the right hand side. So you insert the shaft through the body, through the drive link, and you'll catch the spacer. The shaft goes into the hole in the body, and you're back together. So at this point you can reinstall your stuffing box. Again, just get it hand tight and then you can take your inch and a quarter socket to snug it down. The handle goes back on, handle nut, again your socket, tighten everything down. At that point you can close everything up and you're done. It's that easy.